Welcome back to a new episode of Hockey Bears Podcast, episode 181. Why are you whispering? Because Maddie whispers. Oh, Maddie does kind of whisper, doesn't she? She's, yeah, she's I thought you were gonna one hundred percent go get into it. She's pretty quiet. That's true. You, uh, but you're not sexy. She's sexy. You can't pull it off. Anyway, we are your guest hosts, Dimples and a Beard, and we're here to talk about episode one eighty one of Two Bears One K. We've been so kindly asked by Maddie and Mister Psych to guest host in their place. We weren't supposed to tell you this, but the reason we're here, they're. Mm. Sadly, Maddie's in for a nipple reduction surgery. And a weird twist of face that uh, Mr. Syke is implanting nipples into himself. He wanted to know what she felt like, huh? Is he going to start wearing... She wants... He wants more attention like she gets. Tight t-shirts, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that was our homage to to Tom and Bert when they have their guest hosts and they like to rip on them. You know, if it landed... <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. But, uh, but thank you for uh, asking us to... To the show? To the show. To do the show? I was about to edit that out. That's fine. We don't have to edit um, anything. We edit shit. Either way, um, we are editing not the week. with dimples in the beard, and that's all we're going to say about that. Anyway, let's get into 181, yeah, man. Big J. Let's talk about Big J. Big what J. a funny fucker. Huh? I know. Big J is a funny guy, and he uh, he is one of those guys, like, when you see him, you're like, I don't think he, he looks, he does it. The personality doesn't match the look. You know, you think you're going to get some hard ass, badass motherfucker who's going to is just yeah. super, super sweet. Yeah, he seems like soft spoken. New special coming out. It's already out. It's, oh, that's right. It's already it out. It came out. out April 5th, man, and it is fantastic. I've watched it. Did they say on the show? I didn't catch it. Why he called it Dog Belly? But there's you know, a the special is Dog Belly. There's a there's a reference to Dog Belly in the episode in the, in the in, or in the special yeah i did not see, see the special yes, we'll have no. to go check it out there after is a, that yeah there's a funny joke about but that's what the uh, bird was off bird was off getting his triple bypass another one so another triple bypass sad sadly hopefully he survives this one <laughs> he survives this one <sighs> he's been I, pretty good that's all right i uh i always say i i do enjoy the episode better when it's the two boys together but big j is a pretty fine guest bear oh you know much well, like we're pretty fine guest talking bears you're right it's um we can't beat the original so you can never beat the originals that's true and that's what they're there for and uh, that's our respect to you won't be able to beat the originals when no. you watch this happen no. <laughs> no i tried <laughs> <laughs> but it's not happening um yeah so what do you think of the episode that's a great episode they're all great episodes um again like i said i, I like it best when you know the burton better. timer there but it is nice when they're you know, you break up the monotony a little bit and you get it. And when, it seems like that when they do come back together, then when they've had some guest hosts, they have a lot more they to miss talk each about. Other. Yeah. Yeah. And they have a lot to talk about. And Big J is a good one. He, uh, he's, yeah, he's a, he's a funny comedian. You know, I've, just, I've seen a bunch of his stuff now. He's been all over because of the special coming out. He's been all over the podcast okay. circuit on the West Coast. Obviously, so. yeah. Pushing it. Yeah. Yeah. Seen him in a lot, so I wasn't necessarily surprised to see him show up on on Two Bears. And uh, they all have a common guest, and they started talking about their common guests. Yeah, um, or friends, comedian well, yeah, friends. Start, start, they started to talk with the talk of Ari, and and Ari being a chaotic evil. I was wondering, did you did you pay attention to that chart that they were showing the the uh, chaotic, neutral, lawful, good? Yeah, where do you think you fall in there? Are you a, are you a chaotic evil like Ari, or are you a chaotic good like Bert? Or, I think I'm a chaotic good. Yeah, I would probably label you a chaotic good. Yeah, I'm probably a neutral good. I just fall between between lawful and chaotic. That's where I maybe I'm actually maybe I'm a, <laughs> maybe I'm a, a neutral evil. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm just I'm just straight across that neutral 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 board. See, so, and I was surprised how, how well they were talking about. Uh, they like they love Ari. Ari. Everybody loves Ari. I know, but he can be a dick. He can be a dick. That's the beauty. But he he does it. Would you so, would you would you be friends with somebody if you wipe if I wipe if I'm if I wipe dog shit all over your car under the handles and shit are we still buddies? That, that that's okay. I mean, not dog shit. It was his own shit. Never mind. <laughs> so. Well, then no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, we used to do that at work. What we, we'd put we but instead we would put grease oh. on knobs and phones when they answer the phone and they would put <laughs> knobs on the oh, grease. You guys on the are knobs. such pranksters. I know. So I so I was chuckling when he said that. We know I would have never done shit. But um, no, I would have. I'd still be friends. I think that'd be funny. I mean, it, I'd hate the guy at the moment, but it, it's, I, I it's like, kind of funny. I did like. I did like they they write you know the articles that they write about Ari being the most the word the meanest com- comedian or the worst comedian or the comedian everybody hates, and, and they're both like, uh, no, that's not true. Unless of course you're Bobby Lee. <laughs> 
there's a lot of stories of Ari and Bobby Lee and they're they're friends. And, and Ari has beat the shit out of him like three times. <sighs> and done the shit on his car. So well, and he, he threw Molly in, in Burt's without telling him. He That's, did. He, he thought he was gonna have a have a good time. You don't you don't want the trip, but I'm gonna help you along. There's I'm Mo- gonna help you and there's Molly in there. Put Molly in there. <laughs> oh, not, pulling an Ari in honor of Ari. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So this probably yeah, derail my, really fast is what I'm saying. Thinking my my drink got spiked one time. So yeah, I almost ended up in a hotel room with an Australian guy. Oh, that's right. So thankfully, a friend saved me from uh, walking out the door with him. So, uh, <laughs> so it's not just friends that spike your drinks. Wasn't me. Sometimes it's I wanted to go. You weren't even there. <laughs> you probably would have let me go if you were there. I'm like, have fun, buddy. Tell me the story of the morning. Yeah, I still woke up somewhere. I was like, uh, oh, where am I? There's a big flower on the wall. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> ah, uh, I don't think I've ever, that I'm, I'm aware of, ever been spiked. Yeah. So that was my one knock time. Knock on wood. My one time. I, got, I, I, I do dread that, but I do warn my daughters. Yes, for I mean, sure. Let me go out. Just take your drink with you to the bathroom. I don't for care sure. how gross you think it is. Just take it in. Or have a friend have it. Hold on. Get to a friend. Yeah, yeah. One or the other, man. Don't leave a drink sit. Yeah. Anyway, that got fucking... The well, more you know. Yeah, I just wanted to do, throw do, that do, out there do. because... I'm Wouldn't it be nice to be delusional? Somebody with Wouldn't it be nice to be delusional like Bert, though? I I, I kind I, I am mean, not. I, I wish I, I was. Oh, God. I, I know. I envy that. I envy I that know. ability to just be like, I'm awesome. <laughs> And I'm not saying he's not, because who's to say that, you know, fat guys aren't awesome. Ain't that right? So, I mean, I we look at me. Awesome. Look at me. I had to squeeze into an extra large tonight because we filmed one before this and I didn't have one of our shirts. So this is what a fat guy looks like in an XL. Fat guy in a little T-shirt. Um, Yeah, I would love to go through life like that. It would and be and they did touch on that. Like Bert just says, what was that? You know, the line. He's like, yeah, I'm fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm awesome. I'm an amazing comedian. Well, I'm in good did you, shape. Did you really say you're fabulous? He's like, yeah, because I am. Because I am. Yeah. And, and he, you are. Yeah, and he, he is. Right. But the body shit, he just doesn't care. He doesn't. No. I mean, how could you? You go if you go up there and rip your shirt off every night. Obviously, you don't care that you got. I mean, so so what is that? Naive or overconfident or? It's not overconfident. It's the confidence that got him where he is. If he wasn't that confident, he wouldn't be the comedian. He is. He's confident. Yes. That's, that's all I keep plowing forward. But like I said, I mean, there's not a lot of guys. I always, I always took it as that he just knew what sold. So he just went with it. I not disagree. That he, well, that's what I always thought. Yeah. No, I just When they first, first came upon him. I, I think he's truly authentic. And he, yeah, yeah, I agree. Like taking his shirt off is not a gimmick. It's not a, it's how he is most comfortable now. performing. Yep. No, I agree. And, uh, now that, and to, and now to, that I, you know, we're, I get to know him. Right. And, and, you know, I mean, most comedians are extremely self-conscious, right? Mm-hmm. That's, I mean, that's part of the, so for him to go up on stage and be like, I don't give a shit. I'm taking my, yeah, right. Obviously. I mean, I think a lot of people envy that. Yeah. Yeah. I wish it could be. As I mean, as I get as, old, as, uh, as big Jay said, he goes, and that's me. It was like, if I, I'm wearing a shirt and I'm like, yeah, but if I turn this way, it comes up and then my roll hangs out and then I'm like, no, I can't wear that shirt tonight. And then I'll put it, I won't wear it. Well, so I, say, I got shirts in there that I won't wear be, because I'm like, shit, I didn't buy the right size. No, I know. Like when you're a fat guy and you, you and you buy those shirts that are like, this doesn't, like this is fitting. So this is just going to show it off. But you get those shirts that are kind of loose, but they're too short. And then they hang and they hang out like this. And you can see up that you get the draft up your shirt. Yeah, like, yeah. and then anyway, we're going to, I like a draft. <laughs> we're going to joke about nipples a lot on this episode for some reason. <laughs> Oh, all right. I thought I had sensitive nipples and tell. So, and then <laughs> you don't. I was funny with that. What? No, go ahead. I was just saying, I, I love that Big J's stories with Kevin Hart. And I, I love when they circle back. That was the best because they kind of poo pooed over it. Yeah. And Big J went into a, uh, a story. Yeah. The TSA story. And then, you know, the TSA. I fucking. When Tom talks about his, and I had heard the TSA story about him calling the, the, the yeah, circle back, put a pin in that, as they say. Um, when, I what they did. When, when, when Tom tells his story about uh, about calling the lady at TSA a pig, uh, that, it's just like you you see the true psycho that is inside of Tom, and like he comes out. 
Yes, it does come out. He definitely comes out, and you can. I I can only imagine what he would be like in one of those. I would love to be a fly on the wall when he's oh. pissed off about something. I, you know, now it's probably it doesn't because he doesn't go through TSA anymore. Let's face it. Well, not anymore. <laughs> but at the time, when you fly private everywhere, you don't need to go through TSA. He hurt, but yeah, he does. He can get hurt. It seemed. But oh, I, I know he's uh, he's my kind of man because I wish I had the courage to call a fucking TSA lady a pig. <laughs> Let's say all. Well, fuck. let's go clarify. I mean, he did because she was very condescending mm-hmm. to him. Mm-hmm. So warranted that brat. I, I, I wasn't there, but it, it, I, I don't know that I could look. I've yelled out this pig behind me. Look, she didn't deserve to be called a pig, but you reap what you sow sometimes, you know? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. You give, you got to take. And she gave. He, t- you know, he gave back. So. Sit down, pig. Um, TSA, do you have any horror stories at TSA? I do. Yeah. I mean, I've had my butt searched. So, Not, yeah, but then, I mean, other than you asking them, I didn't to find drugs, your though. Butt. No, I, I don't really have a bad TSA story. I, I know friends who have had, uh, friends who have had their, their suitcases opened and had sex toys in them. <laughs> I'm not going to say who, but you know them. Oh, we well, traveled somewhere with them. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. So, <laughs> I, I, I did have a, a boss at these girls snuck a sex toy into her that's awesome suitcase and she had no idea that's fucking great yeah i would love to do that yeah. to somebody and then i went through the x-ray and they're like that's not mine that's not mine oh and then the friends are like giggling because they oh they were with her at the time yeah yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. Nice. and they watched it happen yeah nice i love it so but no no so I, kevin... I can't say that i have two any horror stories yet I don't know. so kevin hart has a monster cock that's did you expect that when he told the story, started the story, did you expect him to say? I mean, do I have to say the obvious? Or are you going to make me say the obvious? That's up to you. He's he, still short man. He's blue. Regardless, he's a short man. But he's blue. As what mm. it, uh, mm. Big, big J said, his his body weight is in his cock. A large proportion of his body weight is in his cock. Y- yeah. So, oh. um, How rude, though, to be like, knowing you got that monster... And then, you know, trying to get your buddy like, hey, dare me to show it. Well, and then after funny. you show it going, sure, buddy, <laughs> like, come on. Man, it's not bad enough that I got to like, now you're going to fuck with me, too. Oh, don't tell me that. Uh, I wonder if we should be swearing this much. Oh, I don't know either. <laughs> I'm just wondering uh, Beep. when that came up. <laughs> Back it up. He's just like, I got I got nothing. Just just ask me to show it as a joke. Right. I know. That's my game. How great is that? <laughs> and again. <laughs> Confident, well, uh, yeah, confidence, and he can back it up. Confidence pays from the, from the noises from the bathroom. It sounds like you can back it up, is the way it. So, that's a great story. Uh, Just yeah, to listen to that episode uh, for all I could think is I think I heard those sounds in a hotel room in New London once, but just me. maybe, maybe not quite uh, those sounds, but <laughs> I, I mean, I thank you, but I don't know. That no, I don't think I, he was, what did he say? He was touching places that. <laughs> Right, that was just sounds like that. can't make a woman make. Yeah, I was just thinking of my same thing. I'm like, no, I don't know. Oh, he said it, but that's what I was thinking too. Yeah, yeah. Good old, good for you, Kevin. Good for you. Good yeah. for you. Though. Why is it that? Um, why is it that God always blesses the same person with everything and then <laughs> gives nothing to? Because he has uh, so many. Same thing. He's got confidence. He didn't care if he failed. He just kept moving on. The story is that he was telling a book. Yeah, so you, but you think God is the reason for that? I said, you know, why does God do this? I'm trying to ask a philosophical question. Why can't, if there is a God. Why can't he spread it why out? Why can't he spread the fucking wealth? I, I think because he was having a good time, like, creating Kevin. He was like, all right. I'm going to make this mi- I'm gonna make little person. We're going to have to bleep that. Sorry, guys. I, I, that's, that's, Sorry, guys. That's me. I can't have that. I, I anyway, like that yeah. slips. He makes a little comedian. <laughs> so he made a little guy. He made a little one. And then he says, I'm going to make up for it by giving him a monster cock and, and, and funny. And funny as hell. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. all. But he goes, that's all I'm going to get. But that's all. That's But it. I think then God will say, I'm going to give you those two gifts. Fuck. I'm going to give you a little obstacle to make you work for it. The rest is up to you. I'm going to make I'm going to make you so short your dick scrapes on the floor, but you'll be funny to make up for it. So, yeah. Yeah, that sounds terrible. I'd hate that one. Jesus Okay, uh, not that I want to 
spend the whole time talking about, about Kevin, Kevin Hart's, Hart's cock, cock, but cock? um kind of do. <laughs> I don't want to see it now. Now every time I do this now I'm thinking of Kevin Hart. <laughs> So if, if Kevin Hart walked in the room right now and said, do you want to see my cock? Would yes. you say yes? Yeah, okay. I would too. I would say absolutely. Yes. Of course I'd like I would. see it. Yeah. I just want to. You always want to see. Even, I might even want to touch it. You always want to see the oddities of nature, right? I mean, that's what we get drawn to. Like, <laughs> be like you are a tripod. You literally, you literally are a yeah, tripod. Literally are a tripod. Okay. We've, yeah. I, I, we've, well, no, I'm going to take, I would ask one more, one we more thing. We may have gone on too long about. Well, we're envious. The elephant in the room. I'm not going to say. Open drunk in the room. <laughs> um, We're only... and I understand you can't uh, attest to this, but if you had a monster, how else? Can you, how do you get it out there? To his point about, hey, buddy, ask. It's oh, I... joking. I mean, how do you do it without being like, want to see my cock? Oh, I would just draw my pants for no reason. <laughs> They'd be go, like, oh, I'm drunk. My pants came off. Uh, you yeah. play that angle. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, for because so... you got to get it out there. You're gonna get it out there. You're gonna find a way to get it. Because out there. what do you think of when you see a short person? Tiny, and, tiny cock. Yeah, and he's like, I gotta get, right. I gotta get the message out. Right. But again, he's blue, so I didn't. That's not what I. Uh, anyway, I seriously do think that um, Maddie and Mister Psych may have asked us to do this because of a lot of the material and not wanting to deal. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we'll do the dirty work. <laughs> ah, they did talk a lot about black people. So they do freely, but they as all. Good stuff. It's all in good fun. It's comedy. Yeah. Anyway, and I love uh, when Jay's good. telling his story, his bad breakup story, and uh, in the Christmas part, and 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 then he says something about she called back like two hours later and and dumped me. Did you notice the look on Tom's face? <laughs> and and I gotta call out our boy. Shout out our boy Annie for because we when we had Annie on, he talked about how you know he was the one who came up with the idea of capturing Tom's face, and there was no there was multiple times during this episode. Where Tom had some weird looks on his face that were caught. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And, I mean, really well done to get his reaction to some of the shit that Jay was saying. And I do like because it wasn't, it, it, you know, it, much like when when Bert is there, Tom didn't say a lot in this episode, but I didn't feel like it was because he was being overrun. Like Bert will just, blah, you know, he, how can he say? Yeah. <laughs> Tom can't get a word. I think Tom was letting just tell a story, Jay, big Jay run asking his stories, inquisitive questions because yeah. he was. What, what yeah, really yeah. did you uh get my PS2? <laughs> <laughs> but we've all been there have we i don't you tell have you not have you have, have you, you ever not because because it's the whole we've I all got a girlfriend yeah and a buddy or somebody says or something implies that she's with a dude for a long period of time and Every indication says she's fucking around on you, but when you ask her, she's makes up a story of, no, we're just friends. We were just talking about the stars. Oh, no, I dated all good Catholic girls. They didn't do that to me. And then you're like, oh, okay, well, then I guess they weren't fucking even though the car was rocking. But did you ever have one of those girls where you, no, never mind. You're so shallow. You didn't because you were never like one of those girls where you're like, where you're like, God, I got to get rid of her. I got to get rid of her. And then as soon as she got rid of you, you, you were like, oh, oh yep. fuck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Early on, I, I, I did. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a bitch. I've had that happen too. You know, you know and like, that, that, that thing that comes up to everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm tired of her. Tired of her. Why? You don't want me anymore. Come back to you. <laughs> Come back, Tina. I love you. I want my PS2. Wait, that's the, you know, the get the reference of the PS2. Listen to the episode. It's pretty funny. I think it's safe to assume that most people who are watching this episode have watched Two Bears, One Kid. That's why they're watching this. I mean, no offense to Maddie and Mr. Psych, but would you watch this if you didn't watch Two Bear? Never mind, you would. I would. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. I answered my own fucking question. Absolutely, I would. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't even care. I... But yeah, we. I, it, it goes for both sides, boys and girls. I think with the whole, with the whole, with their well, you know, dating a whole, oh, a whole guy or a whole, a whole girl. And, I've never dated a hoe, and then you miss them when they're gone. Never dated a hoe. No. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Love them all. I miss sh- them all. I shut mouth closed. Can't teach that. <laughs> I have not seen the picture of Jennifer Lawrence with a what did he say? A gob? Well, first it was a load on her face. And then it went to the gob. A gob on her. I like the word gob. A gob on her face. I think it's nice to see uh 
Well, what did he say? Yeah. She had a gob on her face, but I still went to see her big, big, big budget movie. <laughs> I would go see more of them if I had seen that picture. I haven't seen a Jennifer Lawrence movie since Silver Linings Playbook. And the only reason I remember that is your stupid ass quiz that you just sent out. <laughs> Maybe we should ask Maddie and Mr. Psych to play. <laughs> I'll send it to you. All right. You'll be nicer than he is. <sighs> You will be. You will be. I, I did it. It's possible. I did it. That's fine. That's fine. Um, and then it's uh, trying to get into a little side piece. You know, I, we, we all have good, but there's always better sometimes. Not always, but you sometimes. When you're young, you think. Yeah, when you're young, for sure. I, you yeah. do. And it's, it's the excitement of someone else wanting you. Know? It's Well, that and what can I get away with? I mean, it's you you're still a little bit. You got that rebel behavior in you. What can I get away with? And you got the because it never changes, no matter how old you get. When you're out and about and you're not with your significant other, you get paid attention. You still get a little dopamine rush from that attention. You get. oh, you you like it. You know, yeah. You're not going to do anything about it. But the only thing is that, that, little... that switch in your head that says I, I don't want to lose what I have. Right, right. But I don't. The, doesn't mean you don't like the attention. But you still get a little. Doesn't matter if it's a guy, a girl. Oh, I love it when I get hit on by gay guys. Little person. Anything else out there? I love getting hit on my gay guys. It's the best. I, I I honestly take more pride in that than I do in any woman. Huh? And it's only happened once or twice. <laughs> but both times. Woo! It was uh let's go all the way. And we were in when I when I was growing up in Milwaukee, so I was young. Oh. And I was and I had it was a they were dark purple shorts. Mm. I don't know where I got them from, but I got them. And we were wearing them to a mall and were we they were, tight? They were somewhere. No, not really tight, tight. They weren't baggy by any means, but we were somewhere. And all I can remember is my mom was, hey, push, getting me out of the, the thing. I was kind of young. I was in middle school, maybe. Oh. If not, And I, I didn't. So you're still, you're still no. And we, as we were leaving, she, I was like, why? You know, this guy's really cool wherever we were. And I, I just don't remember the whole story other than she's like, oh, no, I had to get you out of there. He was all over you. <laughs> he was. He was like hitting on you and and like putting his arm and I didn't catch on because I was so young. But she was like, oh, this was getting uncomfortable. How nice he was to you. I had to get you out of there. Okay. So this isn't a gay situation. This is a pedophile situation. Yeah. Oh, okay. yes, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was an adult working in a store. And I don't remember it was a right. just at the Bayshore Mall. Did you just tell a story about a pedophile? Well, we she got me out of there, so I was saying. Right. But I didn't catch on. I just thought he was being nice to me. All right. She's uh, like, I told you you should wear those shorts in public. Well, she's your mom. What the? I'm like, I don't, mom, I, I don't know. They were just purple. Jesus. It's a safe color for little boys, too. I think so. It is nowadays. I mean, you're so old. It wasn't back then, but now, back then it was. Now you can pull it off. Right. No, it's no big deal. So, anyways, Big J is pretty fucking funny, is all I got to tell you. Big J is pretty funny, and him and I have something in common. Oh. We both have to deal with, um, the belly getting in the way <laughs> during blowjobs. So you you don't when you're getting roadhead, you don't want to hear her ear honking the horn the whole time. I wouldn't care. <laughs> what the fuck do I care? I just draw attention to you if you're going like through town. <laughs> I, I can't say I've ever gotten roadhead going through town. I save the roadhead for the deserted country roads most of the time. <laughs> beep, beep, hug, hug. <laughs> What's happening in there? Don't care. Don't mind, don't mind me. Yeah. What's going on here? You wouldn't care either. <laughs> I, 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 I like that's how I figured out the side side blow job. <laughs> Turn there. Oh, all right. Isn't the, that the truth? The, the backup, because he was talking about how he uh beep, beep. Bad being bad at sex. His his was a thing that he thought his girlfriend was bad at giving blowjobs. Bad at giving him in, yeah. And he was like, it's not so good because all I could see was down and it looks like she was doing a, you know, doing it wasn't well, yeah. looked like she's doing a good job. So it uh, leads me to one thing until he uh, was videotaping the act and then put the camera on the side. And that's when he noticed from a different age. She couldn't go any further because her forehead was stopped by his belly. There's so many ladies I want to call and apologize to. Sorry. Back everything I say. Sorry. So it was my fault. That's my thing. Was there ever a thing where you're like, boy, this girl I'm with, regardless of the act, was like, she's not very good at it. And then later find out 
it was really you that was bad at it. <laughs> Pretty much every sexual <laughs> encounter I've ever had. Uh, okay, well, there you go. No, I, I'm not. I'm not Bert. Remember, I know I'm bad at it. <laughs> I don't have that much. Yeah, I don't right? know. I, I say sorry after every sexual encounter I'm, I have. I'm not. I'm not here to. Yeah, I'm not here to blow smoke. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> surprises me every time i get some so <laughs> thank you and i'm very sorry yeah yeah i understand if you want to go finish <laughs> yeah yeah if you want to go see your, your real boyfriend the only time i can ever understand it is when i pay for it what <laughs> what um so for for a um for a gentleman big and, J and a scala he sure had a lot of uh more sex stories than i expected during the conversation the one is hilarious. The one thing that I didn't see coming at all, and I don't know why, because it's the world now. But when he was just like, "Yeah, me and my girlfriend have threesomes all the time." I'm, oh, okay, cool. It it Good was a you. nonchalant, right? Into it. Yeah, it wasn't. It was not even. Yeah, it was just. A, there was no lead up to it. There was. Yeah. You know, it was casual. Brought it up, and then move on. Yeah, because they focused more on that. Um, because oh, because they were having with well, somebody was a uh, oh. We'll have a three time with you, but is it going to end up in your act? And he's like, not if you're good at it. Yeah, right, not if you're good. No, if it's good. I'm not going to talk about it. If it's a disaster, yes, it is in my act. Just uh, like anything. I love that. I love that. And then they moved on to the comedy act. So yeah, it's not. It's, fun. it's not your fun. point. It was very nonchalant in, out, and no, and away you go. And that's no, yeah, it's just normal thing. Do you think? Uh, do you think Patrice's practical joke with the picture is going too far, or is no. that? That's, not, not if you're a true buddy. That's style. fair game. But if so, if that's if that's myself, no, never mind. I don't even want to put myself in that situation. I think it being that he's now back with the his wife and da da da, and and you got his kid and his wife walking in to see this picture. Well, I mean, I'm like, ooh, that's a that's a hard one. I mean, I I guess not knowing it, I catch the whole thing. If it was like, okay, go in my office. He might your it's... wife and kid won't be with you. Yeah, go look at my screensaver. Yeah, I mean, he made it sound like it happened in front of everybody. But, if but... The kid, yeah, it's a different story. But I think he would have said it more like, "Hey, go check this out." Well, I inter, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it's fair game. You're if you're you're not a true buddy if you're not you're not. Oh, uh, if I, yeah, splitting your buddies like that. If I ever got a picture of you like that, holy. F- well, well, exactly. So mm. if I if you ever got a hold of a new logo instead of the NBA logo, that would be. The only problem, the only reason I haven't sent your dick pic all over is because it doesn't have your face on it. I know, I know, but I am. If you can see tattoos, it's that's true. It's yeah. Everybody I sent it, send it to would know who it was. Yeah, yeah. Well, anybody who's seen me with my pants Game off, on. anybody who's seen me with my pants off. Game on. Did you? You didn't. I, I noticed. I saw it happen when when uh, Tom. I don't remember what they were talking about exactly, but when Tom mentioned the poor fucks. And looked at the booth. He said something about poor fucks and looked at the booth and had a. That's like an inside joke. Like Tom likes to talk about the poor, poor people and make fun of the poor people. And I could see you looking like, what the fuck? What is that? <laughs> I, I loved it because nobody paid any attention to Dob. Obviously broke out like he always does. He does. Because yeah. he knows what the joke's about. Big J had no idea. What, and they just don't address it. They just let yep. it live. Oh, that'd be me. It's, <laughs> it was so good. It was so good because you're just like, ah. You watch these things all the time and you get the little, you know, and that's, I mean, that's even humor from like YMH. Way back. Okay. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like not way back, but, but from like over on YMH, not necessarily talking bears so much, but if you're, you know, you're watching them like, you know, I'm, I'm fucking watch this shit fucking religiously every week. So, I mean, I see them all and, and, uh, try to, yeah. Well, they definitely, uh, work together. Well, all of them, that's for sure. Um, by the way, we're drinking during this. They don't normally drink during this, but we're cocktails. That's what we do. Beard, so that's what we do. I forget, what, what can we say? I did enjoy listening to, to listening to them talk about their joke writing process too. And now you know, Big J's got to got to start over. Which is it's that weird thing about when you think about being a comedian and you you get to the mountaintop, you put out your special, and then you're like, "Fuck, I got no jokes." You got you everybody's heard all my away. jokes now. Yeah. So now I got to start all over. And I thought it was interesting because Big J is kind of a, you know, he'll work the crowd and that's kind of how his humor goes. He'll, you know, he'll build, he'll build stories off asking questions to the sure, crowd to sure. kind of interact with the crowd first. And when then, you're good at it. You can do that. Well, yeah. And he's got the stories kind of, you know, locked in low, whatever. But um, so it is interesting that he kind of goes, that's how his writing process will start back up. That he'll start going back to the crowd and, 
and uh, asking those questions again and, and start building a new hour. And we're fortunate. We should, we should be, I, I, he's coming to, he's going to be in our town in two weeks, man. I know. I, I know. I'd like to, yeah. it, maybe, maybe we'll yeah. see. We'll I, see. Yeah. I hope you go represent. Wait. We he's won't a, get into it, but if we do, uh, maybe you can do it Friday night. Yeah. We'll go in somewhere else for Saturday. So I bet you are. Yeah. Pound town. With uh pound town. With an ex that broke up with me, I'm trying to get back. Oh, I hope she watches this. <laughs> anyway, we all we're we're do and, okay. and Phil, do you ever have an ex do something mean to you? Because he he, he had an ex that, that hence the uh screensaver from Patrice right uh, got out because of an ex putting the I mean nude photo out I'm of gonna... him to Craigslist, which is actually kind of smart and funny, but did I ever ever have an ex do anything mean to me? You're asking me that. Well, let me rephrase that. Yes, I mean, yes, I have. Not not call you bad names or tell. I've never had a bad story, but like I've never had plotted ex- something no, to not to that level. That's what I mean to that level. I mean, I remember like in second grade, I. uh, uh did she was she why, mean to you? Why are you laughing? This is. I know it, it scarred you. It seems like it's this happened in second grade, and I'm talking about it like it happened yesterday. This obviously fucking scarred me. My can point. You... It scarred you, and you're still. Can you let me tell my story? We don't have much time left. Oh, God, you insensitive. Yes. Second grade, I married Cindy Carlson. Tell me to she... punch her. For you. <laughs> She's the first girl I ever kissed. I kissed her in the library. We were doing a report on beans, and uh, I kissed her in the library, and then we got married out in the pavilion at recess. And then the next day, she married Nick. I'm not going to say his last name, but you know who you are, Nick. Nick, you fuck. I still know Nick. And they got were you eating beans and gassy a little bit? And she left you? No, we were doing a report on beans. We weren't eating beans. Mm-hmm. But they left two second graders in the library all by themselves at lunch. I thought that was weird. They wouldn't do that now. But I, 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 made, I think you could have a room full of people now and they'd all. I made my move. I stud. I gave Cindy Carlson that Second grade stud. Right on the lips. Just went. And then the next day she married Nick. That bitch. She got it. She got what was coming to her. Did she? Oh yeah. She's single now. You got her number? Can I? She took a beating on the playground. <laughs> what? Anyway, it's a... you're, you're in second grade. Second grade, you can punch the chicks. There ain't no guys can't. There ain't no rules. I mean, you can do it now because it's equal <laughs> everything now. You know. All right. Anyway, I feel like I just implemented myself on a crime. Good thing the statute of limitations has passed. Yeah, you're beating up a girl and play her on. I know. I was. Did you pull her hair too. I bet I did. Huh. I bet I did. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, right. Uh, if I if we're ever if we're ever both big time comedians, what, what was her name? Cindy something. Cindy. Cindy. Can I apologize for his insensitivity? She- in a second grade, she married somebody else the day. She has a right to dump your ass for anybody no, if you're treating her bad. She didn't divorce. Well, you know what? She's a polygamist. All I could tell you is we're not in Utah. She could she could sense what was coming. That's why she married Nikki Nikki B. Yeah, Nikki B. She knew it. All right. Um, let's wrap this shit up. <laughs> It is because it's a good time watching. Good time watching this show always. I'm sure. I'm sure the normal Talking Bears fans are thrilled to have to hear about my second grade life. <laughs> Thanks again for letting us do this. If this never hears, this never sees the light of day, we understand. <laughs> we do. It was a great episode. It was fun to watch. I'm glad we. Uh, I'm well, glad we got we, a chance to do this. Thank you for a good one. Big, yeah, Big J is a good comedian, yeah. and I uh, hope to see him live soon. You've got you got the chance. <sighs> Damn it. All right, so. This is our shameless promo time. Go check us out. We're Cocktails with Dimples in the Beard. You can find us on YouTube. Maddie's been on episode 62. That's the beauty. Just go watch her episode and see what you think. Because she was amazing. She was wonderful. She's a terrific, terrific lady. She's amazing at what she does. Yeah. And we had the good fortune of accidentally running into both of them that in, was, that when was we were in, so in Nashville. Great. That was so fun. So wonderful people. And, and we can't wait to uh, come back on and do this again. And have her back on and just hang out. You bet. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks again for having us. Hi. Wait. We're talking bears. We are talking bears. Oh, that was not creepy at all. <laughs>